Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar, and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So in this video, I wanted to do an updated tutorial on how to create these centerpieces that are behind me, okay? I often get questions on how to make these centerpieces. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through in detail exactly how I created these. And just in case you missed it, these centerpieces are from a baby shower that I decorated last weekend. So if you didn't see the setup for that, I'll make sure I put a link in the description so you can check that out. Now, I did run into an issue with these centerpieces, so make sure you stay tuned to the end so I can explain the issue that I ran into and how you can avoid it for your event. All right? So... Let's get started.
So let me give you a tip. When you're adding your flowers, you want to add them to the outside, like I'm pointing to here. You don't want to add them too close to this glue, as you can see I'm pointing to, because if you get too close to the glue, then it could break the stand. So I'm just going to show you right here how I'm adding the flowers on the outside, okay? So you want to make sure you're paying special attention to where you're putting your flowers and don't put the flowers too close to the glue. When you're adding your ribbon to the stand, you wanna make sure you tie it in a knot. And then take an uninflated balloon, so this is an 11 inch balloon, and put it over the top of the stand and put it on top of the ribbon, okay? Because that'll help keep the ribbon in place. You don't want the ribbon to slide down once you add the teddy bear. And now what I'm doing is just tying the other end of the ribbon around the teddy bear's arm. And then you wanna make sure that you tie that in a knot, okay? All right, so now that I tied it, I'm just gonna adjust it because I want the teddy bear on the other side of the stand, okay? And then now what I'm gonna do is just add my balloons. So I'm gonna slide my balloon topiary down on the stand. guys so that's how you create the centerpieces but before I close out this video I wanted to give you guys a couple of tips because when I was on my way to decorate my event this past weekend one of my centerpiece stands broke and I was like freaking out okay so I want to give you guys a couple of tips on how to avoid that for your event the first tip that I have for you is that you always want to make sure that you're carrying these by the bottom, okay? You don't wanna pick it up by the PVC pipe because this part is very fragile. And if you pick it up too hard or you pick it up the wrong way, this can break, all right? So you wanna make sure that you're always picking it up by this bottom part right here. And then also you wanna make sure you're super careful in the way that you're transporting these stands to your event. So you want to get a box or a bin and make sure that these are standing upright, okay? You want to make sure that you're not putting them in like this or jamming them all together because this can break. The second tip that I have for you is that you want to wait until you get to your event venue to attach your teddy bears to these centerpiece stands. That's the reason why one of my centerpiece stands broke because in my head, I wanted to save time. 
So I started attaching the teddy bears to the stand. And what happened was when I was loading them into the truck, the teddy bears were kind of swinging back and forth, back and forth on the stand, and it ended up breaking. So you don't wanna put too much weight on your centerpiece stand while you're transporting it, okay? And that's the reason why one of my stands ended up breaking and I had to go into disaster recovery mode. Now, let's say that one of your centerpiece stands break, right? Sometimes you could be really careful, but things happen. So if one of your stands break, then what you wanna do is make sure that you bring some glue, some hot glue or some fast drying glue to your event. And then you could glue this stand right back into your foam circle, okay, where you have the flowers. Even if, you know, nothing breaks, you may wanna just bring some glue just in case, right, to have in your emergency kit because you never know what's gonna come up while you're at the event. And if you have anyone helping you set up your event, you wanna make sure you let them know to be very careful with the stands. So make sure that they're holding them from the bottom, you know, make sure that they're not just grabbing these stands because once they break, you know, it could be a headache to glue it back together and make sure that everything looks good before the event starts. And just in case you're wondering, because I know someone is gonna ask, I offer these balloon decorations as rentals. So I go back at the end of the event and pick these up. The client doesn't keep the teddy bears or the flowers or the stands. I'm actually hoping that I could use these stands for another you know, couple more events because I have more teddy bear baby showers coming up this summer. So I'm hoping to reuse these stands at least two or three more times, okay? I'll put the links for all the materials in the description of this video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.